Hello everybody, good morning. Um, so today we're going to do a language activity and I think especially with this extended leave from school, one of the most important things that you can work on with your children is the letter sounds. So those friends that are three, three and a half years old, we have been working very hard in class on learning the letter sounds. So I want to emphasize that in Montessori, we teach reading phonetically. So that means they first learn the sounds before they learn the names, the ABCs. So ones that I want like to make note of, um, particularly C. So a lot of children already know that this is the letter C, but it's very important we teach them K for cat. Um, another one is G. We teach them first the hard sound G for goat. And um, so I know a lot of parents often ask me how they can practice the letter sounds at home. So one thing that's a lot of fun to do is to play the I spy game. So I spy with my little eye, something that begins with B, and then maybe there's a banana in the room. Um, another thing that I think you will find very helpful is I found these cards. So there's for each letter of the alphabet, there are three pictures to match and those pictures start with the sound. So a, apple, b, banana. Um, and there's a lot of these cards. So I found these cards from Trillium Montessori, which is an amazing blog. I want to give them the credit because they created this. I did not create this. I just printed it out and I'm sharing with you the original file that you can get from their website. Um, but anyway, so there's 26 cards for the sounds. There's three pictures for each sound. That's a lot of cards. What I would recommend doing is splitting them up into groups of three. So today I'm just going to show you a, b, and k, and I'm going to show you how in the classroom we would teach this to the student if we were doing it in the classroom. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, everybody. So usually um, lessons like this are done on a rug on the floor. Um, these cards are pretty small though, so you could actually do it on a table if you prefer. So what we're going to do is lay them out in a line. This is a, this is b, this is k. Show me k. Show me b. Show me a. What is this one? A. What is this one? B. And what is this? K. All right, so before we begin sorting the pictures, I want to talk about what I just did. So in Montessori, that's called the three period lesson. So usually it's done with three objects. Um, it doesn't have to be the letter sounds. It can be with the continents. It can be with colors. It can be with animals. Anything that you're teaching, you first tell what it is. So the first thing I did is I said exactly what these sounds are. The second period, you're asking them to recall it, but you're giving them some information. So rather than asking them to recall it, what is this? You first say, show me a. So that way they have a little bit of help, but they're still having to recall what it is. And in the third period, which is more advanced, is when you test if they've really mastered it. So if you can say, what is this? And they say, k right away, that shows that they know what it is. They've already been able to recall it from their own memory. All right, so the next thing that we would do is then I have the cards here. I'm gonna do them one by one. So I might first get out this. A, alligator. Which sound does alligator begin with? A. Cactus, k. What sound is in the beginning of cactus? K. Butterfly, b. What sound is in the beginning of butterfly? B. Camel, k. Which sound do you hear in the beginning of camel? K. Banana. Which sound do you hear in the beginning of banana? B. B. 
apple. A. Which sound do you hear in the beginning of apple? A. And then you would continue until all of the pictures are sorted. All right, so there you have it. Um, even though technically I'm sharing this activity with you to do today, I think that practicing the letter sounds is important enough that it's something that you should be doing daily with your child. So I really encourage you to do this every day. You don't have to do all of the sounds every day. Like I said, break it up maybe into three to four to maybe five, depending on how many your child knows. All right, so enjoy, and I will send you something else to do tomorrow. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.